Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we are going to install and configure NFS Server Rule and create NFS Share in Windows Server 2022. Server for NFS enables a computer running Windows Server 2022 to act as a NFS file server for other known Windows client computers. Client for NFS enables a Windows-based computer that is running Windows Server 2022 or Windows 11 to access files that are stored on known Windows NFS server. Let's place controller to delete key combination to sign into Windows Server 2022. Type the administrator user account password and press enter key. The system logs on the administrator user account and the server manager console appears automatically. On Server Manager Console, I'm going to click on Add Rules and Features. Remember, this is our domain controller for mustbenoob.lab. The name is a DC1. Click Next. Select Rule Base or Feature Base Installation as the installation type. Select the server you will install NFS rule on. In our case, it is going to be our domain controller. Click Next. Expand File and Storage Services. Under it, expand file and iSCSI services. You can see the file server rule is already installed. We need to check the box against the server for NFS. Let's select the checkbox. A pop-up window will come forth. In the pop-up window, just click on add features and click next. In the select feature page, simply click on next. Confirm your installation selections and click on install. Let it finish installing and then click close and you will have finished the installation process. Let me click on close to close this wizard. We are now going to configure a folder that we shall export to clients using NFS. Create a folder in your desired disk partition uh, I'll create on a C drive. So let's access File Explorer. And on a C drive, I'm going to create new folder. I'm giving name Taste NFS Share. Okay. Under this, uh, let me create one uh, text file. Okay. So we have created one folder on a C drive named uh, taste NFS share and under it we have created a one a text file. So we are going to share this folder as the NFS share so other non Windows computer can access it. Okay, now on a server manager console, click on file and storage services. Then click on shares. In the last lab guide, we have created one share folder that is the normal share folder named marketing. This time, we are going to create new NFS share so other known Windows computers can access it. Click on task and select new share. The method is going to be the same. But this time, instead of SMB share, we need to select NFS share quick, which is suitable for general file sharing using NFS. Click next. Similarly, select the third radio button, type a custom path, click on browse, and from the C drive, select the folder which we have created earlier, name test NFS share. Select folder, click next. So this is going to be the share name, test NFS share. Click next. Depending on the authentication methods that your organization uses, you have a choice to make at this stage. Uh, you can use Kabaroos based authentication or you can go with no server authentication as well. Okay. I'm selecting all the options since this is a taste lab guide. Click next. On this page, uh, specify the share permissions on that NFS share. Click on add to specify it. On the add permission window, you can have many options to choose the host to access the share. You can place only one host, a NAT group, 
client group or all servers that can reach it. So specify the host you would like to grant access permission to access the NFS share. Uh, here I'm going to specify the IP address of our client computer. Since we don't have any non Windows based computer and that's why we're going to use this Windows 11 computer to access the NFS share folder. Okay, uh, let me check the IP address of this Windows 11 computer by running the command ipconfig. So the IP address assigned to this computer is 182.168.96.100. Okay. So we'll specify the IP address of that host here, 192.168.96.100. So we want only that Windows 11 computer can access this NFS share. Again, I want to remind you that we don't have any Linux based operating system. And that's why we are using a Windows 11 computer to access the NFS share folder. But for that, we will use NFS client. Okay. Uh, here you can assign the share permission like no access or read and write or read only. Okay, I'm going with a read and write. If you want, you can add multiple entries. Similarly, we have just added one. Okay, go ahead, click on next. Uh, specify the permission to control the access. Uh, we are not going to modify anything. You can tweak the NTFS permission to befit your scenario here. But we are going with the default one. So let's click on create to create a new NFS share. The share has been created successfully. Let me click on close. You can verify that NFS share is created successfully. This is the share name. And here we can see the protocol is NFS. Now you can mount and access the NFS share on your non Windows computer. Uh, let's go to a Windows 11 computer. Uh, as I informed you earlier that we don't have any non Windows computer. We don't have any Linux computer in my lab. So we will install NFS client on Windows 11 computer to test it. For that, we need to open the control panel first. Uh, let me click on programs, turn Windows features on or off. And let's find uh, services for NFS. Let me expand it. And here we have a client for NFS. So to access the NFS share, you need a client for NFS. So suppose if you have created one share folder on your Ubuntu server uh, using NFS and which you want to access on your Windows computer, that time you need to use client for NFS. So click OK. And let's wait while the system install NFS client on this Windows 11 computer. Let's close and let's close. Let's open the command prompt. At command prompt, we need to type the command mount. Then we need to specify the IP address of that server where we have created NFS share. In our case, it is going to be 192.168.96.11. This is the IP address of our server. Then you need to specify colon and then specify slash. And here you need to specify the NFS share name, which is going to be taste NFS share in our case. And then after finally, you need to assign the drive letter, which is going to be M colon slash in my case. Uh, let me open the uh, file explorer. And if you click on this PC, we have only C drive here. Okay. Let's go back to the command prompt. So again, I want to remind you the command syntax is mount, then IP address of NFS share, colon, slash, name of the NFS share, and then the drive little to mount it. Let's press enter key. And you can see the confirmation message that M is now successfully connected to this share folder. The command completed successfully. That means we have successfully mounted that NFS share on our Windows 11 computer. Let's go to the file explorer. And here we can see the taste NFS share and it is mapped as a network drive. Let's double click on it. And here we can see the taste file, which we have created on our 
uh, server. Can you read it? Yes, definitely we can. And we have also given the read and execute permission. So if user want to create additional data under this share, he can. Let's right click here. Select new and select folder. Let's give name uh, admin and user can create folder and rename it. That means user has a full control on it. So this is how you can set up NFS share on Windows Server 2022. And as well as if you have created NFS share on non Windows computer and using a client for NFS, this is how you can access NFS share on Windows 11 computer as well. That's the end of this lab guide. See you all in the next lab guide. Stay tuned for more videos like this.